I'd like to welcome the attorney himself. Yes, it's a pleasure, a pleasure, a pleasure again to be Thank here. Thank you very much for agreeing to come back uh, yes. on the platform. Yes. And uh, it's, an, it's a great honor. I mean, people in Zimbabwe, yeah. each and every week, they're looking forward to hearing what you have to say about your own country. Yes. And um, yes. But um, because of time, we're always fighting against time. Mr. Nyasimov, mm. tell us. We've seen the white city bombing in Blawai. What's your take on that? Well, uh, thank you very much and uh, thank you viewers and uh, I've received a lot of comments uh, the past uh, interviews we had, a lot of people, some were angry and uh, made their own views, uh, but all I want to make clear to the people of Zimbabwe is that I'm a Zimbabwean, I've got Zimbabwe at heart and I also want to see the country uh, going uh, further into uh, prosperity just like any other Zimbabwean. I, I believe in democracy, I believe in peace, in a, uh, in a peaceful Zimbabwe. Right, uh, I was shocked also yesterday to see the bomb scare uh, that happened, uh, which was targeted uh, the president, Emerson uh, Mnangagwa. Uh, it, is, it is something that we cannot condone, it is something that nobody wants to see. It is violence, this is the violence which uh, Comrade Emerson Nangagwa has been preaching against. He's been saying we want a non violent community, we want a non violent uh, Zimbabwe. But uh, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll think, I like what you're saying. But at the end of the day, this is ED, Comrade Nangagwa, somebody who can take out whoever wants to kill But now, I mean, we had a 10 year old boy try to assassinate him yesterday. Well, uh, what's, what, what's going on? Because well, if he really wanted to get the people who are killing him, he's got the power, I mean, he's the president. Well, uh, this this issue of uh, uh, attempted assassination of uh, President Emerson of Nagawa, so the first time uh, they are happening, is things which have been happening over uh, a long period of time. But why is we, it quiet? We had his offices uh, poisoned, we had uh, him uh, taken by the helicopter from the uh, youth uh, rally. Uh, we had now recently this bomb uh, scare against him. and. Uh, you are saying that uh, he should retaliate, but President Emerson Nagawa is a peaceful man. He's a man who preaches non-violence. He's a person who, free, who, who, who says there's no need to retaliate against your enemies. He's, an, he's a person who believes uh, in God and God being the one who judges those who are wicked. So for him to go against uh, the people whom you uh, know and whom I know are the perpetrators against uh, uh, ED, uh, it, is, it is not for him to fight. No, but I mean, this is the law, what you're doing with the president. Here. Imagine, let's say Donald Trump wants to be assassinated. The law would take its work, take its role to do. No, I'm they sure, make sure, the, the I'm sure if out. you listened carefully, uh, even when uh, uh, it has been said uh, on, uh, on the interviews that were made after the bomb scare, in the investigations are going on uh, to find out uh, who really is the mastermind of uh, this action. But believe me, if that person is caught, the law is going to deal with them uh, accordingly. And that is something uh, that you and, and, and me know uh, very well, that uh, once these people, these perpetrators of uh, these uh, violent acts are caught, the law is going to deal with them. And uh, it's just a matter of time. You see, in the uh, coming days, we want ED to get rid of these people who are violent in nature for them to be locked up in jails. We don't need them in the new dispensation. This is a new dispensation which is a democratic uh, era, an era where people have to have the will uh, to vote without fear of uh, there being a bomb attack. So ED is, uh, is a man for the job and the reason I, why he has survived uh, all these uh, bomb scares and all these uh, uh, murderous at uh, uh, attacks against him is his, uh, his person is because it's not yet his time. He still has to fulfill the mandate he has for the people of Zimbabwe. This is what I honestly believe. That if it was his time, believe me, he would have gone. But it's not yet his time. He's got a mandate to fulfill for the people of Zimbabwe, for the benefit of the economy of Zimbabwe. The new dispensation has come and he has to deliver what he promised the people of Zimbabwe. Ah, okay. I'll tell you. I understand. There's a question again. Um, this comes from... Uh, Ruvarashi, it's called My Ruvarashi, it's My Ruvarashi. She's asking a question. She's saying, you know, some of these questions are the questions that are within every Zimbabwean's mind right now, if you speak. We've seen 
Mnangagwa, having his number one rival, who's uh, Nelson Chamisa. And do you think that Nelson Chamisa had a hand? MDC had a hand in the trial to assassinate Iji Mnangagwa. Of course, that would be great for him if they do that. Well, uh, well, personally speaking, this is my personal opinion. I don't think uh, Nelson Chamisa had a hand. Remember, I've always said Nelson Chamisa is, uh, is uh, a bit of a young guy. Uh, he is. Uh, he doesn't have uh, any uh, um, know-how in this uh, uh, act of ambush. He is uh, so, someone. I would say it freely, and uh, he's someone who, who, who believes in a democratic process, whereby you go to vote, and the winner is chosen through the ballot. So he's and, and he's, that is not coming from an age where they they were brought up during the war. Can I catch you he's come from Can I catch you the attention? Yes. You're looking at Nelson Chamisa. You're saying he's a very democratic guy. Mm. In, in what sense? Because Nelson Chamisa, we've seen it. The day that Nelson, what what's his name, Morgan Changina had died, Nelson Chamisa is the only man that came and took over the throne of Nelson Changina, and he was he installed himself as the party's leader instead of Tokozani Kupe. Then we saw Tokozani Kupe being attacked by Nelson Chamisa's people. Do you think Nelson Chamisa being able to to attack somebody within his party and is He's got this thing that pushes him to, to take power. Do you think that he's not going to do it also for ED? Well, remember, I've, 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 I've been heard saying uh, also that uh, also, I did not agree with the way that uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa took power and the way he got to, to the helm of the MDC. But you asked me uh, whether he could be involved in the, in the bomb scale. And I said, I don't think and I don't believe he, he, he's got that kind of politics. Because of the era he has grown uh, up in, uh, it's a it's a democratic era. It's a process that believe, believes in in, 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 in democracy and uh, non-violence. Uh, an era that was before. It is an era which was born during the war. But, where but people, he's doing violence. Uh, he's doing he's being violent. He's taking from from um, a lady. I mean, yes. Kubesh is just a. A lady who's just I, 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 also entered into the political I've scene, never supported. I've never supported uh, Nelson gonna... Chamisa, and I think the viewers will know that I've never supported Nelson yeah. Chamisa's you, rise. You yourself, to, you said the to... man is also barbaric and is full of hooligans. Yes. Do you think those guys are able to do that um, just in uh, on EDs? They are well, a lot of things they can do, but uh, on this one, I don't think it could be. Uh, this is my personal opinion. Okay. I don't think uh, Nelson Chamisa uh, was. Uh, was 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 involved. Remember, he did knows the people who are doing these things, and uh, we we know it's even start today. Uh, we know the people who are doing it, and very soon, in a few days, uh, they're going to come out. Uh, they are under investigations. I don't want to take by the investigations which are being done, uh, but I want to assure you, I want to assure the people of Zimbabwe that these people are coming out. They are going to be arrested, and they are going to be dealt with. And the democratic process in Zimbabwe, which is there, is going to go on. The peaceful, non-violent nature that it is preaching about is going to go on. Elections are going on, as promised. And uh, that is the state of affairs, as uh, the president said. The president was speak also to say after this uh, horrific attack, he, he was speak to say it is not going to deter him from preaching for peace. It is not going to deter him from, uh, from the elections. In fact, it is going to be a platform for him to preach for peace, not only in Zimbabwe, but in Africa and beyond. That non-violent approach against violence is the best. The best way to go against a violent person is to show him love. And it is showing love to those who hate you. It's showing a Jesus Christ approach to, 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 to what he's, uh, he's doing. He's following the teachings of Jesus Christ. I tell you, we, we understand this. He, can, he, can, he may be the Messiah of Zimbabwe at the same time. But uh, please understand me. He, don't you think all this just happened is a form of a hoax, just for him to do what you're saying? You're, I mean, you're yourself, you're a ZANU PF member, and all that being done, and you're saying it's a platform for him. For him, do you think he, he tried to assassinate himself? Also, no, to, well, look so here. that he can look like a good messiah. Or That's rubbish. I've heard a lot of people saying it. It's a lot of rubbish, right? Mm -hmm. This was not a, a, a staged thing. There are people who were injured. Opam Chindu was injured. Uh, the VP uh, Mahadi was injured. But I we, look at the people we, that were injured. We have people who seriously injured in this in this in this uh, accident, and and most likely the president was going to have lost his life. But because God and the angels of God were guarding him, it is not yet time for him to go. It is not yet uh, time. 
I, I like uh, I like the way you're answering. You're answering for him from from different angles, from being a man of God as well as you are, and also on the political side. But I tell you, look at the people that were injured. These are war vets, people who were part of the war, people who were who who were stunts. Don't you think they structured something and something was acted for them? No, to be there? Was look not. at Obama Tumbu. No. She's she was like Mugabe's right hand woman besides just. Well, look and here. During the war time, they would I'll get... tell you something. Uh, violence has always been happening. And uh, these acts of assassination, they have not only happened against uh, AD, they have also happened against uh, uh, MDC at various occasions. Uh, in which what Tamiso was saying, it has also happened to him and to the later uh, Richard uh, Tungirai. Uh, this is politics. In politics, you, there are people who believe that to get into political power, you have to use violence as a means to get to political power. But this is exactly what I'm saying, that ED is against uh, such use of, um, of force and violence to get into power. So, to cut the long story short, what I'm saying is, uh, it is it is not uh, an act by Zanu PF uh, to stage. Can, can, can we say it's yes, yes. Chiwenga then? Because I've got a question coming in from, mm. from, from, from what's his name? Um, Bulvimbo or something like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry for the name. But uh, he's asking, he's saying, listen, is it Chiwenga who, who, who plotted all this? How can Chiwenga plot uh, something? Where, where, where by, so that where, where, as soon as Nangako dies, it becomes rubbish. That's rubbish. It, 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 there's no way that uh, uh, Chiwenga could be plotting uh, against the president. Because at this time, this is the time when, whereby the people, uh, the party, is united to win uh, an election, an election which is uh, uh, very, very crucial to, to the people of Zimbabwe. It is a time where there is no uh, uh, need for disunity in, in Zanu PF. In Zanu PF and, and, uh, and uh, Chiwenga are one in the same place. Chiwenga and Idi are one in the same person. They were involved in the uh, peaceful uh, removal of uh, uh, Robert Mugabe. Can you say it was a peaceful removal? Because Gunshots were fired by the government. Uh, at uh, well, at the state house, uh, we, we heard gunshots. He even says it on his uh, recent interview. But he says gunshots, yes, were fired by the government. We were fired against like, criminals. Yes, I heard. What uh, criminals? The criminals who were surrounding Robert Mugabe. I'm sure you know about these things. And uh, uh, this, but these people were firing back. So. It, 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 it is a process which uh, when you fire at a soldier, the soldier will fire back. So this is what happened. So now, uh, what I am saying is uh, a non-violent uh, uh, situation is what is being preached by E.D. and Chiwenga. There's no way that uh, Chiwenga can be against uh, uh, the president. They are fighting for one cause, they are fighting for one thing, for a democratic process in Zimbabwe, for a new era, for a new Zimbabwe. They are fighting for the freedom, for the emancipation of, uh, of the people of Zimbabwe. Remember, it's something that people forget. Recently, uh, just recently November last year, the, 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 the Zimbabwean people all loved uh, Chiwenga. It's only now that it's coming close to the election that people forget that uh, this man was, was very vital uh, in, in, in the removal of a, of a dictatorship that had worried Zimbabwe. And he is someone who is supporting ED to, to the grave. Thank you very much, Atum. And uh, Shakari, what is your name? Um, I'm, I'm just going to say this again. But uh, there's a man called Mono Mutapa. Mm. This man, I think about two days ago, mm. uh, yeah, two days ago, mm. he spoke of, of an assassination towards mm. uh, ED. What, what do you think he is? Is he a well informed person or is he a prophet? No, not here. He knows that it is life is still at stake as long as this cabal uh, and these guys are still around. He knows it. We know it. He no, knows no, no, but it. him himself. Mm. Don't you think? Is it by coincidence that a man just speaks today and it happens tomorrow? Well, it, 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 you can say it even to, to, to today and it can happen tomorrow. But uh, is, it, is, is he a prophet? I don't know if this man is a prophet or not. Uh, there are so many prophets and prophecies that are happening all over. <laughs> the, the television was seen, someone said he's prophesied this, he prophesied that. Well, it happened that uh, it was then attacked. Maybe you should best ask the Mutapa if, if he knows the people who were gunning for this uh, 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 attempt. If he knows, I'm sure he should help the, the government investigations to tell us who and uh, where these people are and how best he can be protected since he seems to have some uh, kind of information that can be of value. Okay. 
Um, thank you very much. And uh, we've seen the G40. G40, we had Kasukuere come through. Mm. Do you think, uh, okay, please just, just inform the people about it. Who do you think is the main culprit mm. within the G40 who tried to assassinate the president? Well, I haven't mentioned the G40 yet, but uh, it, is, uh, it is also uh, yeah, a possibility. It is also a possibility uh, that uh, we will find that the uh, members of G40, uh, the members of Mugabe, uh, are disgruntled about the way that uh, Robert Mugabe was removed. They were a people who loved power and uh, who enjoyed the power. Like the likes and, of uh, it, it's, it's a possibility. You never know with these people. In Kenya, he tried to. It's a possibility. You never know. You see, these things are under investigations. And remember, these people uh, who tried to assassinate uh, the president are blood uh, thirsty uh, uh, criminals who 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 who, who walk at nothing until uh, who stop at nothing until they 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 achieve what they want. But now they cannot kill a man who's been ordained by God to to lead the people of Zimbabwe in the new dispensation. It's unfortunate people don't like it when I say that. But uh, it has to fulfill his mandate for, for Zimbabwe and uh, he's going to feel a mandate for your benefit, for my benefit and uh, for the benefit of the people uh, all over. For the benefit of Nelson Chamisa, it's going to be easier in the years, years, years to come for anyone then to, to, to follow through. Uh, and, and obviously the spaghetti trades that uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa has been featured are going to be easier because everything is going to be set up by ED. It, uh... ED is going to set up everything, set up uh, the communication system, the railway system, even, even anyone. Even one day if you want to be president, it's going to be easy because uh, the best setter uh, was ED would have, uh, would have done it well. And it is his time and uh, it's unfortunate to those who want to kill him that uh, tough luck, the guy is protected. By by Angelicos. Uh attorney, you, you believe so much in the in his excellency comrade Emerson Campos and like that. But anyway, there's one man who doesn't believe in him, Nelson Jamisa. Mm. He's still complaining about uh, the election. He's still saying there's a lot to be done, there's things that people are things that are not transparent within the well, system, look the here. system of Dear Sanders. Nelson, dear Nelson, you can't you can't you can't be backing, you know, at the same time and running. He's, he he say if he didn't want to to be part of the elections. He had a democratic right to not uh, go to the vetting system. And he could have then complained, saying, I'm not getting to this system because I'm complaining about this and that. But he went for the vetting system and it's no, I, party. I mean, even the vetting system, even if you say it he's is denied. there. But look here. I mean, even you, if he denied it. You can't say, I, I, this sad has got poison, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> You, see, you can't, you can't uh, be a person like that. What I'm saying, I'm saying Nelson Chamisa should not waste people's time, right? You should tell people that uh, he's decided to go to the fort. He should not fear ED. He should not uh, try and find stories of trying to hide why he's going to lose. Because he knows that it is very, 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 most likely and definite that he's going to lose against ED. So he's finding a, a scapegoat. He's trying to say, you know, I lost because. <laughs> I no. lost because. I mean, I mean oh, you're going to say, uh, Chamisa is going to say, I lost because. But look at it. He's already started uh, saying it. We saw, uh, there's a video I saw of, of the recent interview with uh, ZBC and uh, Emerson Nambuzo Nangago. He says his rallies, mm. you were, I mean, some people were saying uh, the Blawai rally was containing a lot of people. That was almost half of Blawai mm. supporting ED. Mm. What, what's your take on that? Because we're seeing that. Uh, even ED says Harare follows him wherever he goes. Look so here. can we say that the, the crowd that was there following ED, chanting ED, were crowds that were drawn from Harare just to come no, to Blawai? No, because no, we've no. seen, Atani, Blawai loves Blawai. ED. No, 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 no. Blawai loves Atani, ED. We've seen it was Blawai, shown. even on the, on the, on the, on the voting yeah. uh, scale. Mm. ZANPF has got a lower scale than NDC. Let, me, let, has been. let me answer you. Yes. Blawai loves ED. ED loves Blawai. Please, please tell the people at home why you're yes. saying. They were there. The, the crowd is there. Look at the but crowd. Even, it's your own clip. Nangagwa Look says, at the clip that you are showing the people right now. It shows the massive crowd. But uh, Nangagwa says those people came from Arad as well. No, not, not, not the crowd there. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was talking about the perpetrators of violence. Listen to it again. He's talking about the perpetrators of violence that are coming from Arad. Right? They're not, from they're not from Blawayo. Blawayo people, they love ED because and ED loves them. We had a fear coming from Blawayo. Some people, I had a call coming from Blawayo saying we fear that 
Mnanga go said Lawa is gonna say we, 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 he doesn't no, love no, and no. he's gonna start uh, another Gupura who the another president civil war because said it. the president said it with his own mouth that he loves the people. Of so he's, he wants and to gain he, support. And he, he, he he's always had the support of the people of Blaue. But now because of this peaceful act that he's trying to it's to, never to, been a Blaue issue, it's never going to be a Blaue issue. It is an issue of people in Harare. We know them, and very soon we are, we are going to be seen the blo getting locked up. So don't worry about that situation. And to the people of Blauai, ED loves you, and uh, he, 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 he very much appreciates the support that you gave them at the, at the rally. It's unfortunate uh, some, some certain people wanted to come and, uh, and destroy a very lovely and uh, uh, promising uh, uh, event. Uh, attorney, because of time. Mm. Thank you so much.